Hello, welcome. Here we are at 12 on 12:21. And I'm so happy to be here with you. Hello, welcome. Here we are at 12 on 12:21. Uh-oh. And I'm so happy to be here with you. Hello, welcome. Here we are at 12 on 12:21. I'm so happy to be here with you. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm going to try that again. Oh, here we are on the live stream. There was a lot of cacophony, so hopefully it's still live streaming. <laughs> but so remember everybody to get your crystals so they can record what's going on. And you might wanna have an essential oil. I'm gonna put on Young Living Daily Divine and also make sure to have some water. This is going to be an unusual kind of short blast into the the um, next gateway we're going through. Let me pin. There we go. So hopefully we're still live on Facebook and all those that were on the Facebook are here because there was a lot of noise and I couldn't figure out how to stop the um, Facebook noise. So anyway, we're going to just proceed along our path, our merry way. And I'm so excited about this solstice in this gateway. And as you know, um, this is um, the, the activation of the solstice gateway is every year, but each time it's impacted by the astrology that is ever changing. And we are really in it. I'm sure many of you are feeling the depth of the kind of gunk coming out from the edges of our cosmic soup pot where we're cleaning, deeply cleaning. And right now from, um, 1212 to today 1221 is this portal this nine days of the birth of Christ and it's it's like a Christ portal and it's also called the homecoming because ultimately what we want to do is move through our Christ at ascension basically so we remember and awaken to who we really are and it's and it's not this it's, it's very difficult because we're, you know, we're going inside and outside and it's just like being torn up and kind of shredded in a way, but really what's being shredded is all the places of your, you that are limited or uh, have depth of feelings of deep, deep, deep trauma or torment. Those are being pulled up and pulled out of your field. And that's what we're going to do on this gateway activation, because my whole motivation is to make our ascension easier. And as a gatekeeper and a master seer, I feel like it's part of my contribution, my mission, and my great love is to help us do this evolutionary push. And it's like a birth. And I've been doing a lot of channeling with the connecting to the umbilicus of the cosmic divine mother, returning back to that place where the divine feminine is feeding us what we need. Because this is really where we're going to go into our consciousness in my personal humble opinion is that we've been without the mother for 6,000 years and now we're going to come back for this mother um, that's this this principle like mother mary or any of the great mothers is that we're being held we're being nurtured we're being breastfed and everything is intuitively connected to us so it's all about receiving what you need and giving back, but also in unity consciousness and in the flow in direct alignment with who you are in your um, mission and your 
keepership and your presence or your higher self or your magical being. And um, so each each portal is, is a little bit unique. And um, we've also been doing a lot with this cosmic birthing, the birthing uh, and coming up in the end of January is going to be starting the second rainbow seeds of creation teachings that are about visioning the new earth. And we're moving through enormous amounts of energy in reference to creation. And I'm all about creation and we, we need to return to being creator beings, right? So right now there's a Gemini full moon um, and this is a, an hour video, so we're not going to be doing a huge, long um, webinar. So we're in this Gemini full moon that was on the 18th of December that's directly opposite the galactic center, which is source. And so when we go to the galactic center, what we're doing is reconnecting into that flame, into that signature that you are, into your universal self or your celestial self or your galactic self, right? And you're gonna move more and more deeper into the one unified field and this sense of oneness that we're all longing for. And so that's kind of a little bit about the astrology going on and this birth of the Christ canal. And I don't know if many of you have been feeling tired, but many of my friends and I have been saying we're just exhausted. And I think it's because we're doing this work. We're doing this deeper work. And I love to call this the holy days, right? Because this is the time the solstice and this gateway activation is helping us get through these darkened days that right now today we're coming into more light. And it's it's a constant um, looking towards your light, looking to replenish your light looking to accept your light and, and open up into it so here we are and it's going to get lighter and lighter every day and on an inner journey we're that we're like churning in the darkness as we scrub the sides of our cosmic cauldron we are growing and becoming more crystalline which will bring up our magic and our special transparent and reflective quality to throw off like a centrifuge, all the carbon and the detritus. This is such a holy time of year. And it's also important to remember that each time of the winter solstice, we're returning to the light that's showing us the way, just as um, the star of David was showing the three wise men to find the baby Jesus. It's the same root in a way it's finding our own christed baby our own christed nature and being shown the way through the darkness and so the whole thing is a ever going shamanic trip <laughs> which uh, i love so something that came through was to meditate on your white flame in the center of your heart your christed white flame so that it can release and transmute all conflict, imbalance, fear, isolation, aloneness, abandonment. And we're gonna be doing that in our journey. And then you can use it as a meditation. And I recommend really committing to staying in the being state every morning to find like, before you go straight into your hurry type of a day or your media or telephone or whatever is try to stay in a place of being a place of contemplation and balancing with the, the flame that's in your heart is an amazing way to transform your life and during these times we want to really focus on staying center because things are going to throw us off we've got the this pandemic and it continues to go on and on and create um, not only havoc and illness and death and fear and separation and um, <clears throat> alienation and and kind of putting everybody at odds and at sides. So having that sense of that centered place is is really essential. Um, 
and it will help you, you know, guide yourself through conflict. So today we're going to be entering in with our ever trusty Lord Metatron and our other teams who all, I think I'll just like channel them as we go, but we're going to be um, going th directly through this gateway, the 12, 12, 12, 12 gateway, uh, the 1221 gateway and find our way through that gateway into the first starting in our flame and then go into our group Merkaba and then journey to the center of the galactic center to find that spaciousness and the medicine there, the geometries and upload the DNA and work with our carbon structure. And we're gonna do a lot of different things and come into a greater place that's seeding this new consciousness that you're here to, to bring through this new um, relational creatorship and be the new earth guardians that we shamans are here to co-create with. So let's begin so we can do the fun work. All of you cosmic shamans, happy to be back. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's give a deep, deep breath. I'm just gonna take my glasses off. And let's send our heart beams to one another. As we call to open and expand the graciousness of a heart portal around us. And I'm going to call in a transparent crystalline and golden pyramid around our session to deeply ground it into the earth to manifest all the high frequency transmissions and activations, the codes and the DNA into your cellular memory, your light body, and especially your emotional body. So take a deep breath into that flame that's in the center of your heart. And just notice if any of you are seers and you see a color. And I always want to invite any seers to always listen to your own journey. As a master seer, I've noticed that I can open these portals or gateways, but you can have your own stream that has different colors even. And I want to really support your own intuitive opening because we're moving into telepathy and the more you connect to your own trusting of your truth, trusting of your Claire audience, Claire sentient, Claire, you know, the whole Claire business, <laughs> being, being clearer and clearer so that you're really listening to source. That's what we really want. So breathing into this beautiful white flame, because at first I actually saw a purple flame. We might shift there, but let's start with this white, brilliant star inside your heart flame. That's your signature through all time, space, and dimension. And it's unending. I really stress that, that your signature is unending and death is just another gateway. And sometimes people are looking for an exit strategy because they're going to a wonderful place. So just continually to feel this sense of this star. And it's beginning to radiate, get bigger and bigger and pulse. And it's pulsing with your heart. And now as we expand our listening, it's pulsing with Mother Gaia. And 
And now Lord Metatron is opening up even further as it becomes a star tetrahedron, which is a Merkaba, your Merkaba. And your Merkaba is your sacred geometry that represents your ship of light, let's say. And it's a valuable, valuable tool to learn to connect to this because as you move into being more of a sacred geometry relationship, that's how you're going to become multidimensional because we're in the 3D, right? It's very polarized and it's dense, but it's moving up to the fifth dimension. We'll be living in the fifth dimension and a lot of things are going to have to change. Lucky for us humans on the new earth. Because each one of us, as we become clearer and more connected to our earth guardianship, we're going to start making the changes, the leadership, the awareness. Ooh, that's just opening up a lot in the knees. Cosmic gang. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my word. This is a great group. Thank you for your consciousness. Woo. It's like really spinning now. You guys are total star tetrahedron. And it's the, the star tetrahedron is the star that has the point that's coming down from the heaven and the point going up from the earth. And it's multidimensional. And that's the star tetrahedron. That's the Merkaba. Brilliant. So now we're beginning to spin. They're showing me a lot of like spheres spinning like um, rings, but um, it's around each one of us differently and different color rings that are spinning almost like you're a juggler and you have these rings on on sticks. I've never seen this before, so this is fascinating. <clears throat> they're, they're, they're sharing that this is like being a juggler. Hello, that makes perfect sense. Thank you. I love being a seer. So we're juggling. You know, often uh, those of you who worked with me a lot know that I call it uh, like a cosmic surf surfer because we need to surf the waves and the waves of creation and the ups and the downs and the darks and the lights. But this juggling is new. So this is connecting us to this galactic center is where we're going. But also we're doing it not only above going up, but we're also connecting down into the earth. And they're showing me like a crop circle that our group Merkaba is beginning to form that we're connected not only now to our own personal Merkaba, but our group consciousness has very quickly without even needing to be instructed become this a greater more planetary service Merkaba uh, ship of light and then it's connecting in with that heart of mother earth and into the inner earth and the middle earth and the tectonic plates as well as the poles that the poles of the earth are shifting. And as they shift, they're, they're sharing that there's doorways, more doorways, almost like these are secret hidden doorways. They're going to almost like rocks that are moving out of the way. And again, it's a circular kind of sliding of, whoo, um, these tectonic plates so if you feel in your body that you need to move it like i do or your hands or do light language go for it because your body is really part of the, your constellation and like i've learned to kind of communicate with my hands or my hands communicate with me rather and i try to interpret but so right now we're doing we're multitasking because we're building this like geometry crop circle 
on the surface of the earth that connects in to the inner earth and to an earth ship or a series of earth ships beneath us in the earth. And there are many earth ships connected that's creating a, a deeper redefinition, new, new definition of star alignment concurrently with Mother Earth's movement. In the waking up process for Mother Gaia, as her frequency, the Schumann frequency raises and raises, it's tenor, they're saying, we begin to feel almost like lightheaded as humans. And if you start feeling lightheaded or dizzy, or like, yeah, it's like this vertigo feeling, it's this inversion they're sharing that's going on that we're at some point, there's going to be a collapse, not like horrifying, it's more like a collapse of time and space that affects us in this kind of like way, like it feels like vertigo go, go or like a topsy turvy feeling. It's, it's not going to mean crashing of everything. It's just um, a time jump they're sharing. It's more like a time jump, but it, it will feel um, like destabilizing and just to expect change that change is good that we need change right and they're going to put this change in the mixture of what we want to co-create in this cosmic birth canal that we're feeling <laughs> feeling out of the darkness along the cosmic birth canal So we're just shifting our energy and frequency and to this more stellar, more galactic and opening up our crown chakra and our solar causal chakra, opening that up along our pillar of light So that we go directly held with the earth archangels, the seven earth archangels moving us up to this galactic temple within the great, great central sun of the great central sun. that while we are there, it's beginning to open up your brow chakra where there's another dodecahedron star put right in there and also right at the top of the nose, the atomic point. And we're moving into this a grander scale. It's almost like we've become giants. And we're all in a ceremony now. We're on our knees as, as galactic giants. And we're in surrender on our knees in this temple, in this ceremony in the temple. into this creation cauldron in the center. It's holding this beautiful star sun. And it's entering into us. It's like piercing through every single cell. Everything that we feel about ourselves as being 
seen with no judgment and with total adoration. And this is like the holy spark of the Father, seeing us for who exactly we are and what we came to carry forward, to bring. And it's in this light that's transmuting a lot of the carbon and the detritus, the negating of ourselves and the lack of hearing the wisdom. They're like working with their ears now at the receptivity and the transmission chakras. So that your ability to hear and channel listen receive information begins to get electrified they say electrified ignited I'm just going to do a little light language with this right at the ears these two chakras Chao <laughs> there's a lot moving out of there a lot of <laughs> distrust <laughs> trauma people hurting others creating distrust <laughs> 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 and old overlays of karmic trauma or karmic dispositions and Letting go. <laughs> Letting go. Letting go. Any old overlays or negative implants or grooving of the memory in a negative fashion. All is becoming transparent. And being stirred up. But the stirring up is more like a regenerative, supplemental, like vitamins, like nutrition. And as I say that now, like breathe into your throat and your thymus because whew, we are really congested. And the thymus is the captain of the endocrine system. And the endocrine system whew, turns out to be part of our higher self. And it connects, I can feel it, connects it into the tree of life also. In fact, our whole being, like nervous system, connects into our tree of life. And this nutrition, they say the nutrition is really important. There's a, a real deficit of, of nutrition that's tolerable, that's going to bring you what you need. It's high frequency. I, I found I had to do this. I was having a lot of stomach things and I had to stop eating inflammatory foods. And I've gotten used to it, but it's a challenge. But what happens is so much better because you're much lighter. I'm much lighter. And the frequency of the food that you eat affects everything, they say. So now they're bringing in a sense of this fatherly compassion.
and it's replacing any of the distorted father codes where you didn't get the right thing from the father. So it's moving everything into the thing that is needed in divine alignment and divine attunement. So that your journey has a sense of its own volition, they say. That would be so nice. We would love that. <laughs> but there's a held belief here on the feminine side and the masculine side is pulsing. So let's like find out what that is. I just left that. It's it's this issue of of the masculine and the feminine in defense. And now they're like losing that sense of polarization or combativeness or all the different levels of the relational issues because it's all merging right now i don't want to keep bringing up negatives but it's opening opening up like this field in this corridor right at the throat and the thymus and the this top of the heart and it's creating a a, a heart-shaped torus where the lines are moving into each other the two sides of the heart are like two sides of a torus that's this ever moving energy but they are weaving together to create like a new, they say the kingdom come, the new heart is what I was going to say, the new cosmic heart. Oh yeah, we like that. Oh, so now they're saying that we really have resourced a great new, like fullness inside of ourselves. And so let us just bow and think this solar temple of creation and the solar fathers and bring all this fullness down lower in our chakra system. As we're being guided to our own guiding light and our own guiding alignment in this attunement. And so now we're going to through the heart into the solar plexus and to the hara beneath the navel and there's a lot of gunk like there's a lot that's been displaced here it's like put aside um it can't manage things are getting out of hand these are the things we're clearing There's no place to run and hide. These are the fears. And the restrictions are too much. Too much restrictions, too much judgment, too much negligence of oneself and oneself as property of the divine. The, the vessel, this holy vessel. <laughs> Bah. which is coming through a, bah. a cleaning on this Christ bah. birthing canal. Because they're saying like, how can you possibly birth your Christed nature if you're filthy? <laughs> if you're like full of undigested, undigestible food <laughs> and deep, deep seated anxieties in intolerances. So we're just cleaning that out so that the whole intestinal digestive system is getting a, an overhaul. Thank you. Bringing this sense of support that we connected into is it's like a ring now a ring of energy that these rings are beginning to move all through us and they're going downwards and they are they're 
when I check in, they're going up and down all at the same time, but we don't know that yet. I just saw a preview, but that's what's going on. But we're concentrating at the solar plexus and at the rib cages. Any grief that may be in there in the lungs that didn't have a chance to be digested and let go of and brought back into a sense of inner community, inner stability, inner sanctuary, that we are building the sanctuary within, in this Christed kingdom that we're coming to. We're building it in our heart temple, in our Christed house, our vessel, and it's moving now, it's flowing very well through the solar plexus. And make sure to breathe into the back of the chakra systems. The whole back sides of each chakra are the unconscious. And that's where all of the parts that have not really felt very good about themselves hang out. And we want to always invite them to come into this sacred ceremony with all the masters that are here and the holy mothers and the holy fathers the archangels and the ascended masters and the magical beings the ships of light the elohim the aloha the sisterhood of light the brotherhood of light the ancient ancestors and indigenous and especially our magical family of all the different totems of our magical magical counterparts. So now they say we're beginning to swim and we're swimming in plasma that we brought down from the galactic center, this plasma frequency that's going to move us through the third, fourth to the fifth dimension. And it's and it has a swimming feeling. It's got more density and it's smoother and velvety and, and and kind of cushiony. It doesn't have the harshness of the 3D, three dimensions and the polarization harshness. And then as you like, just sit back and think about that, contemplate that, that this plasma level, this plasma dimension that you're moving into with your crystalline structure now is coming in all through the blood, the bones, your DNA, we're moving into crystalline. And breathe into your brow chakra, if you might have like a headache, because we're kind of going rapidly, rapid activation, rapid expansion. <sighs> so now they're opening two corridors at either hip, the left and the right are both release chakras and they're also connected to the receptivity and transmission creation chakras, the feminine creation and the masculine creation chakra. And we're opening now the, the wombing, the wombing, <laughs> the dreaming womb. <laughs> And they, they, I just, because of that accidental miswording, I saw a fear I've never seen before, which is a fear of the tomb, that the womb is a tomb. And this feels like an old miscreation designed to disempower the feminine, disempower the chalice, the cauldron. And we can just honor that, that that was then and is not now. We can separate it from our dreaming. And send it on its way. 
that the womb of creation unlocks doorways, creates promise, hope, resiliency, and unification. And now we're tuning to creation mothers, cosmic creation mothers that I also work with that are part of my braiding that nourish from this greater womb aspect of the universe held in this plasma frequency and it's as if the earth has just opened up into this amazing womb that's not an enclosure or a tomb but it's it's like hollow earth agartha or the earth that the place that we dream of as being a heaven earth, an Eden earth. I need to do the singing with the creation mothers. So just keep working with this imaging and this embracing this cosmic fullness from the mothers. Holding you in a great basin, like this new property I'm so honored to be granted to be guardian of. It's a great womb basin. They say the promise, the hope, the return of who you are, all of us as one family. All the indigenous come.
scanning and scrying over the waterways we are. Scrying with our mother codes that are completing their cycle, their settlement, their forgiveness programs. And they're scrying the veils from our eyes. And the birds begin to cackle and chirp, scream, and respond to us. The eagles here hear us, and the deer, all the fish. All the animals, the insects, all the vegetables and the plants and the flowers, they're all attuning to this fabric, this textile, this tapestry that we're commingling. So here's Fay, my fairy. She goes, didn't you know this was going to happen? Of course. And the Fae have been holding the higher consciousness of humanity at bay, actually, until we were ready. And they're saying that they're giving us the go-ahead, that we can proceed along the Christ Canal, that we're en route to our birth, our rebirth, as the Christed child the one and only, the flame of oneness, of togetherness, of unity. And now the unicorns are coming and they're spreading, rotating ribbons of multicolors that are again making like this ring that's part of the crop circle, part of the ships that we're working with, part of our multidimensional repatterning. And now as I say the word repatterning, the DNA is showing up. And then it's moving with more and more strands <laughs> that each of you who can hold the highest strands can receive <laughs> this download. <laughs> that's going to relieve a lot of the pressure a lot of the transition is just going to soften and start to play out in a whole new scenario everything is going to start to be cohesive and playing the game with truth in their heart. <sighs> As the collapsing of the erroneous structures fall apart, the intuitive, the clairvoyant, the telepathic, the sentient, the sensing with your feet, your hands, even your hair, their antennae. And our own bodies become a causal body, creating a causal state that is merging and marrying in the sacred marriage, the Hieros Gamos. <sighs> breathing in and breathing out. 
digesting challenges, breathing them in, breathing them out. Because now a dragon comes right into me, right into us, and has like dragon breath, which is actually not like, it's very profound. <laughs> dragon breath is like so transformational, transmutational, like it's almost hard to describe. It just blasts or burns, it, it incinerates, but it's, it's through energy. Like, I'm not sure how to describe it yet, but it's very good stuff. So we're merging and marrying in our lower chakras. We're going deeper and deeper. Now we're looking into our earth star beneath our feet. We're looking in like from this above place down into this cosmos in the earth star beneath our feet. And it's as if the above is and the below and the middle are all listening and looking at each other. They're not separated, they're, they're partners, they say. And let's call in that sacred partner as we're partnering. Call in our families, call in our sisters and our brothers, call in our leaders, our healers, our transformers and transmuters. Let's call in the indigenous and the guardians of the earth, those that never left Gaia. Woo, calling in Gaia now. Woo, big stuff going on. Calling in this hallelujah call, this heralding call. Woo, the whole legs are lighting up. Self-mastery, reformation, 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 liberation, liberation. Activation, activation. As a new consciousness kind of like rolls in like a, a, a fog, it rolls in over you know, in a clockwise manner. Again, in these like, this is like soft fog circles, <sighs> especially starting at the shoulders and going wherever it wants to go. Let's let it go there because it's softening primordial conception, they say. Softening primordial conception, softening, primordial conception. So we're going into a birthing cave, a womb cave of creation. It's held in the sacrum, in the Amrita Gateway, the birthing gateway of creation. And there you may find or see a color or an egg or even an animal or a magical being, a baby one, that something is brewing, just dating. In this primordial conception, as we enter the solstice and go through the new year, to our next gateway, begin to claim your quite your Christed white flame it's turning golden 
and that this egg can be a color or it can be gold and this baby can be a color or it can be gold and this creation can be a color or gold and and this pathway ahead can be full of color or gold and So we're working now with the digestion of the belief systems. Into the co-creation, this access inside of you, an access that can learn all kinds of new movements and maneuvers, like a hybrid. And it's the access that is creating a new level of tolerance and any interference just is thrown off of it. But it's a co-creator dynamic mechanism, sacred geometry. And let's call that in from the, all the places we've joined together with call all of those forces in and put that inside of your own Merkaba, inside your heart temple inside your meditations and really feel deeply into that place in that your heart that may feel like sore or upset or something or sad but just fill it So that all these things begin to digest in the enormous wisdom of the heart mind, the co creatorship that you bring through your Merkaba, your vehicle, and all the challenges that you may have met or may will meet, that this resolution vibrates and harmonizes to the next octave that your ascension path is open to taking a deep breath and just being pulsed this higher higher octave And that the feeling of a rainbow is just like releasing all anxiety, a rainbow waterfall just dripping over you and like colors smearing through your face, <laughs> through your clothes and deep through all of your body into the earth, pooling and finding each other that we create together an enormous tree of life that all the branches are and the leaves are creating the flower of life, as well as the roots are creating the roots of life. And this whole ball of our earth is covered with a net of crystalline flower of life. Bah. This matching bah. a dark net of crystalline black onyx or adamantine so that they're matching each other not polarizing but reflecting one another <laughs> in a seamless united force of unity <laughs> Oh, coming back now to the throat as we begin to finish our very rapid transit into our bodies. 
into the gratefulness of how mysterious we really are, how attuned and connected and full of love and surprises, gifts and exuberance. As my fairy is just like going, all righty, let's let our hair down now. This is happening. We're here. The fae say they're here to stay. They're not going to let the conditions falter. Woo. I don't really even know what's going to happen here with the fae. They're elusive for me even. So they're bringing down a lot of threads and reconnecting them like little streams of consciousness, mind streams with like light energy and information along the, the, you know, the synapses, let's call it. So we thank you and we thank all of the masters and the magical beings and each of you in your consciousness that brought such an amazing ability to group manifest for planetary and personal service that we stand united as a new earth family Woo! i would suggest everybody does some little light language in fact let's do it aloud together for just a really short time because it's kind of crazy fun to have cacophony so you can unmute your sound <clears throat> so let's just do this wild freeness. What's up? When I like, yeah, 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 Good. And so let's bow and honor all that we've done and shared and take this journey and share it and step into our empowerment as a gift of our presence, our keepership, our mission, helping holding hands with all those who need us and that we are here and it's the promise that we are the new earth shamans here on this blessed new earth this planetary excellence in the golden age of aquarius blessed to be blessed be your holidays your holy days see you soon this will be on my Zoom. I mean, this will be in my YouTube, on my Facebook, and also on my website, www.anjalia.com. And watch for some new teachings as I get back into the full stream for you.